good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome project so let's get cracking friends a quick trip around my youtube channel today of course the top is the latest videos then shorts and then we start getting into categories you've got your fusion You've got your SimLab and then the top tutorials, 3D printable Tinkercad, and creating with code blocks. There are more out here, circuits, Minecraft, and multi-part projects. Just want to make sure you know those are all available. Down below, you'll find Tinkercad TV and the designer reaction. And then today, what I want to highlight is the Tinker Hunts. Now, if you hit view full playlist, there are more than 30 of these Tinker Hunts that you can explore in your classroom or just for fun on your own real quickly i'm going to take you to tinker hunt 5 and i'm going to show you how this works the video gives this same explanation but i'm just showing you the idea these five characters are hidden in this awesome village if you move down to the video's properties you will find the link to the project simply click that link Friends, when you get here, it looks just like this. If you've never used Tinkercad before, I always choose sign in with Google. And then, of course, reactions are always appreciated. The next step is to hit copy and tinker. The project does take a moment to load because of all of the pieces that have been added. And then remember, you're trying to find those five characters. Now, if you want to double check, I do have notes up here that you can go through. As you move through the notes, you will find the list of the things you're hunting for. Once again, it was Blanky the Rocket, Unicorn Dude the Celebrating Kid, and the Jack-O-Lantern. Friends, searching for the characters looks like this. You can click on any object, and if you press F to fit view, it zooms in, and you can look around that area by right-click dragging. You can also use the view cube. You can instantly also hit home to back back out. If you click on a house, you can hit T for transparent, so you can see it inside it really, really quickly. You can also hide them with the little hide button that lets you zoom around and check things out as well. So F to fit view, orbit, and look as you search for all the pieces. I do want to let you know, even things like drawers do open. If you use the arrow key that taps out, tap it back in. There are so many places I've hidden things. It's a ton of fun. Make sure you have fun exploring and hone your navigation skills in Tinkercad. You can always hit show all to bring them back. If you make something transparent, you can hit T to shut that off as well. While I was teaching, I posted this in my Google Classroom, and as students found the locations, they could type them as a comment to the assignment. It was a ton of fun and very interactive, as everybody worked together to see how quickly we could solve each tinker hunt. So friends, in wrapping up, I just want to remind you about my website with all those awesome categories. Of course, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. And of course, friends, do not forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to remind you about the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have got a ton of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.